Hello, Adri here. I've been getting a lot of requests to ask about my art studio and my process, so I thought I'd do a quick little video, hopefully quick, on showing you my studio that I've been here for a few months now. I'm already out growing it. And also just to show my process just a bit. So why don't we go ahead and get started on our little journey together. Right now, the way I begin any of my time is I start with prayer. I created a small image of my most popular piece that started this whole thing, which is the image of Jesus and your cross. And so I've got my candle, I've got my holy water, and that's where I begin with prayer. And as I work on each one of these pieces, that is also my prayer, this action that I'm doing. And while I'm going through the whole process, I am praying through it and hoping it turns out well and that people are able to connect with it. So that's where I begin. Then I come over here. And the next step is that I sketch something out on paper. In this case, I used uh, tracing paper. It's a thin tissue kind of paper. And it doesn't have to be full detail sketch here. I just need the lines. So I sketch it out. Then I lay it down on a sheet of metal. And in this case, lately I've been using only aluminum. It's easier to get a hold of, it's less expensive, and I can apply those savings into the prices so that people can also purchase it. So I lay the artwork, the sketch, onto the metal and I just ever so lightly trace the drawing on there just so that I have some lines. I then remove the drawing, go ahead and start to press harder and create the dimension and the sculpting which requires me to flip it back and forth and I have to reverse my thinking. When I'm pushing out, I know that that's going to be the front. That's what needs to be sticking out the most. And sometimes it can get a little confusing and difficult to see because of how reflective this material is. That's why I also have some power glasses here. And I have about oh eight different power lenses that I can use so that I can see close up in the detail. Once I kind of have an idea of where this is going, I do a preliminary paint job on it just so that I can see how it's translating and where I may need to um, create some more dimension and more detail. This uh, is of course a whip, a work in progress, it's the baptism of Jesus and I can see that I still need to define his physique and I need to add more water that's falling from his hands. Um, and then eventually when I'm ready I'll paste the back of it with a paste that I make that just gives it a little more stability. It's not cement by any means but it does give it some reinforcement. And then I go ahead and do the paint job. So this is kind of where I work from here and this is my ever so faithful art table with my lots of tools of the trade. And I have here my shelf with lots of drawings of mine, my sketches and copies of my sketches so I don't wear out the original. Uh, my metal supplies, my acids, my paints, my tools, frames, boards. So glamorous, isn't it? This is my workbench. I'm very proud of this workbench because my father made it for me. God rest his soul. I needed more workspace and so he knew what to do for me. It's a good sturdy table. This is also my cutting station, my measuring station, my photography station. I even, when I need to expedite the baking process of my paste, do a, a heat lamp and a tent of foil to help me. As you can see, I also have um, some conceptualizing here, and uh, I'm still playing with this, and that's why I take scrap pieces and and uh, try and conceptualize what I want to do. I'm getting a little closer to how I want to get this done so I can take it seriously. Uh, I have on display my ever-growing holy card collection, and I made sure that I printed this on a nice stock and a high gloss 
so that they are a little extra special to where people just don't throw these in the pile. They end up displaying it or even framing it. They frame very nicely. I'm getting ready for a couple of exhibits. Sorry, this is another work in progress in honor of my father and cousins and uncles that have all served in the military. They were in mind while I'm working on this and I'm still playing with it, but I've set it aside for now. As I started to say, I'm getting ready for a couple of art exhibits that are taking place in March. The beginning of March is going to be the um, pop-up art gallery in someone's home in Orange County, and I'm excited about that. I hope to do more of those this year. I'm also going to be in the Religious Education Congress, and uh, so I'm just kind of panning around at all of my art pieces that I have floating around my, my studio slash home. And uh, I mentioned the, the holy cards that are in print and how nicely they look once they're framed. And um, so around here, and then I've got my computer, which is, of course, all the stuff I hate to do, which is networking on marketing on the computer and social media. I hate sitting at the computer. I'd rather be at my art table. And no, that's not where I typically keep the Last Supper. But uh, then I have my wall of inspiration. Since I've only been here for a short amount of time, I haven't put everything up, but my wall of inspiration typically has a lot more things up there from um, events that I've attended and whatnot. But as you can see, I've got quite a few pieces on display here. And um, I've got more also in a box that I haven't unpacked yet and hopefully they will be making it into the exhibit. And uh, this is the most recent piece that I worked on. This is Jesus washing the apostles' feet. And I really enjoyed working on that. And I hope you guys all have a chance to come to one of my exhibits and take a look at this. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or text me. I'll be praying for all of you. Thank you for watching. God bless.